the heart of the Syrian desert, 200 kilometers north of Damascus, lies Palmyra. Today, the ancient city is under the control of the Islamic State organization. The jihadist group claims that its intentions are only to damage pre-Islamic artifacts and that the site remains untouched. In February, shocking images emerged of Islamic State militants destroying antiquities in a museum in Mosul. It was later revealed that many of the objects were in fact replicas. This god figure and winged bull dating back to the 7th century BC have been turned to dust. It's left this Dominican monk heartbroken. When I saw the footage of that winged bull statue being completely demolished, I felt like it was real blood flowing out of its veins. This 3,000-year-old Assyrian bull is no more. But thanks to this Iraqi resistance priest, the image of it will not be forgotten. Father Najib founded a major project to preserve local history. Since the 1990s, he's digitized antiques, rare prints, manuscripts from the 12th to the 19th centuries, and more than 10,000 ethnographic pictures, the oldest of which dates back to 1856. He sees it as a modern-day act of anti-terrorism. I call this an anti-ISIS operation, because what the Islamic State group wants to destroy, well, we want to protect it. Last summer, the Islamic State organization seized the city of Mosul, sparking a mass exodus of the Christian community. After being forced to flee, Father Najib managed to save 809 manuscripts. I filled up my car with these manuscripts. But when I saw all these people fleeing, many of them barefoot, children, women, old people, I had to help some of them. I told them to climb in the car and just sit on top of these manuscripts. I said, it's okay, don't worry if they get damaged. We might all be dead very soon. At this undisclosed location in Iraqi Kurdistan, the shelves are now filled with eight centuries worth of rare testimonies of the history and culture of the region. Generations of Dominicans have risked their lives to transfer some three and a half thousand works here. Our manuscripts and archives are just like nomads from the desert. We brought all these documents on camelbacks. We used donkeys. They traveled on caravans. And that's why these pages have an even deeper historical meaning. They really are treasures. The Dominican motto is to contemplate and to transmit to others the fruit of contemplation. Father Najib's predecessors had to copy everything by hand. Everything that is written, whether it's Christian or non-Christian, scientific, astrological or medical, has been digitized. Even the tiniest bit of paper gets a reference code. Everything is digitized so that it can be preserved forever. 8,000 manuscripts have been digitized in the last 25 years. Half of the originals have now been destroyed by the Islamic State group. The National Archives in Paris have simultaneously been reviving them. For the past 25 years, I've been digitizing historical documents in the shadows. And now all this is being exposed in broad daylight, so to speak, by the National Archives, so that they can be seen by everyone. Nowadays, it's become very important to speak of mankind rather than religions. Culture and knowledge have often been like a crossroad for humanity, a place where things can converge, where people can share things and live together despite their differences. Islamic State militants have reportedly burnt more than 100,000 manuscripts in Mosul. Artifacts at hundreds of sites in Syria and Iraq remain under threat.